All right, so this is the second video of the day. Yeah, it's about right. But um, this video shouldn't take too long. The other one took a bit, but this one shouldn't take too long because I decided that I'll actually split up the season four predictions in season three prediction reflections video with this one being the season three prediction reflections because I figure if I make a season four predictions video I might as well make two separate videos one for if it takes place in the future timeline and one for if it takes place in the current timeline and this will be the last video I record for break but if I do the season four predictions video which it will be both timelines I'll do that during winter break and then I'll also do all the implications of each episode video and I don't think anything else will come out of the show before then so should be in the same state as I am I'll probably re rewatch or at the very least the last half of the season for that but yeah this video should be fairly short I did rewatch my season three predictions video I have the uh, predictions I made listed here and I actually got a bit more right than I thought I did or, or at least a bit more were accurate but I'm not going to go based off which ones were right and wrong I'm just going to go straight down the list so yeah just because there's so many that I made and I'll say whether each one was right or wrong and if it's right then that's good and if it's wrong I'll say what actually happened along those lines All right, so the first prediction I made was in regards to Lila, and that was because at that point I watched the first episode of season three, so kind of already had a hint at that, and the prediction I made was that she would get more development, and then she'd be apprenticed to Hawk Moth in some sort of way. That prediction did turn out, or end up being right. It turned out that she got apprenticed, not necessarily by Hawk Moth, but by Gabriel, and that she did get a lot more development in season three with the start of her own sort of subplot. Where she's sort of like a sub villain, not necessarily acting on behalf of Hawk Moth, but acting simply for her own interests. I also predicted that she would end up getting the. Oh well, this was sort of like a wish in that Hawk Moth would give her the Peacock Miraculous since it was damaged. Obviously, that didn't happen, but that was more so like something I just wished would happen. Alright. It was the first one. The second prediction I made was actually in regards to Gabriel and Hawk Moth, and it was that he would have inter interaction with Master Fu. I didn't specify, but I, or well, I did specify that it would be Hawk Moth who interacted with Master Fu, but yeah, this did end up happening, and we saw this in the, obviously, the season finale, so that was another one that was right. Granted, I don't think I predicted it would be on the level it was, I think I predicted more like a minor skirmish in an episode where Master Fu would get away or something like that. But obviously, the, it was still right, just not in how I viewed it, I guess is the best way to put it. So right now, I'm two for two. That's actually pretty good. It gets a lot worse, like later on in the predictions. But yeah, hold on a second. <coughs> yeah, I also, it's late right now, but another reason this will actually be uploaded the day after the second video, the future timeline and current timeline video, simply because I decided to wait to record this, so I'm actually going to upload this tomorrow, since it's night on the present day. Yeah, alright. So, the third prediction was actually in regards to Natalie and Mayura, or that was her name as the, uh, as when she was transformed with the Peacock Miraculous. I actually made a, a few predictions based on her well my first prediction is that she would die that wasn't that was more so a wish as opposed to like um what i think would happen but what i predicted more so would happen is that she would succumb to her illness more and obviously that did happen granted i also predict that she would no longer assist hawk moth and no longer use the uh, peacock miraculous that was true initially where uh hawk moth i think Beside, he, the first time uh, Mayura appears in season three is, I think, in Miracula. That may be it. But then he ultimately ends up using her again when he transforms his Scarlet Moth again. And then obviously, after she definitely shows signs of illness, then he detransforms to help her right after he akumatized Marinette. So, 
Yeah, after then, uh, yeah, he barred her from assisting her until he ended up using her. Uh, I th was it the last one? No, because she went on her own. And then Hawk Moth used her for the finale, so... Yeah, it's somewhat right, but I mean, it was, she would no longer, like, assist Hogmoth on her own terms. She would only assist him if he needed it, or if he said so. And I actually, I have a note about Dusu, which is the name of the Kwame, I didn't know it then. But I, another thing I said in regards to Nelly and Mayori was that we would get to see the Kwame, and we did. It was for, like, actually, it wasn't that... We didn't see it for that much time. It was only, like, appeared in a few scenes in the entirety of season three, but we did. Another thing I said, which actually ended up turning out to be wrong, was that the uh, Peacock Miraculous would remain irreparable because in order for it to be repaired, it would have to get to Master Fu. Now, we know that, obviously, Hawk Moth circumvented, circumventilated this or whatever, or he... He ended up fixing it, so I was straight up wrong in that aspect. And then another prediction I made, this was more so just like a thought back that I had back then, was that Natalie would use it against Gabriel's wishes, because that seems like something she would do, and she did do that, so I was right in that aspect. So this, some of my predictions were right, some were wrong. It was mostly right, though, so I'll, I'll just say it with you. Three for three right now. This one I got wrong. You know, the... Uh, fourth prediction I made was in this was in regards to Lei Bung and Chat and why like they're as they're transformed um I said that they would unlock new forms and potentially new powers like just base powers both of these were wrong in fact I we may have only seen them transform into like their different forms maybe once or twice in season three and it was still the water and ice form so that was obviously wrong and then, in regards to Plague and Tiki, I think... Oh, this one was another prediction. This was actually one I made a correction video for, was because I said that I hope that Plague and Tiki would see each other's owners. They would see Adrian and Marinette, like, and they would recognize that, you know, that's who Lei Bung and Chat Noir are. However, they did do that, actually, in the Dark Owl episode. So, that was a... Technically, it was wrong, because it's already happened. But, I mean, it's... That was, I think, all I really need to talk about for that. All right, the next prediction I made was in regards to Master Fu. And this one, this one actually surprised me. Like, this really surprised me. Because I actually, in my wish, like, what I wanted to happen, I actually ended up getting it right. I said that he would either die or phase out. Which, obviously, he didn't die. But he did end up phasing out. He passed on the mantle of the Guardian to Marinette, and supposedly he's no longer going to be a part of the show, given he's lost all his memories. A bit of a spoiler if you haven't watched Season 3, but obviously this is a Season 3 Predictions Reflections video, so it implies that I've watched it all and then made my reflections in the past predictions. So that was, I'm surprised I got that one right. I was, honestly, I was I was really happy when I was re-watching my season three predictions video and i stumbled across that but yeah so he didn't die but obviously he's no longer a part of the show or shouldn't be or at least in the current timeline given he no longer has his memories so and then i actually think i actually did also say he would pass the mantle on to marinette as the guardian of the miraculous and this was sort of my wish however what i predicted would happen obviously didn't happen because what I wanted to happen ended up happening, but my realistic prediction, because what I wanted to happen ended up happening, obviously couldn't have happened, but my realistic prediction was that Waze would get more development with Nino, Nino, because uh, obviously Waze is Master Fu's Miraculous, but he never really uses it, or well, he used it once, and that was in the season three finale, so... I predicted that he would get more development with Nino, bec or Nino because at the time, the only, like, the three lesser miraculous users being Nino, Alia, and Chloe. Alia and Chloe, well, Alia is a bit special because her miraculous, although it wasn't used, it was replicated by Hawk Moth, Akuma, Taze, and Lila. But Chloe, she had her entire own miraculous. So those two, they can't really relate in that their miraculous have only been used by them as opposed to 
Waze, who has been used by Master Fu and Nino. So I predict you to get more development with Nino, as we know that, or at the very least, Waze had a lot of development with Master Fu since that was uh, his chosen miraculous, the the turtle one, whatever. And I also said that Master Fu would renounce Waze, kind of like how Hawk Moth renounced his miraculous at the start of, at the very first episode of season two, actually. Obviously, that never happened. That was more so my realistic prediction that actually did not end up happening is what I wanted to happen came to be. So right now, I'm actually four for five with the only one being wrong is Lei Vung Chan Noir. However, the next few are going to be wrong. So I'm going to take a little break. <coughs> anyway, so next one in this one prediction was in regards to Marinette and Adrian and basically what I said was that they would hone the Adrianette ship and this was right after the end of season two and the season two finale obviously Marinette kisses Adrian granted whether he saw anything of that doesn't really matter basically what I predicted was that the love square would sort of fade and it would hone in on them as they've introduced alternate lovers for Marinette and Adrian and I talked about this a lot I think in my season one two comparison or season two improvements video which i made a while ago like about a year ago i talked more about this then but obviously that did end up happening granted at the end of season three it appears that the alternate uh ships or the alternate partners for marina and adrian are at their peak like strength or they're at their prime so there's that to consider um in that adrian isn't as prevalent as it once was and that's honestly all I talked about in regards to them. Just solely the shipping that was for their uh, civilian form. I didn't even talk about anything else in regards to that, but yeah. All right, so the next prediction was actually in regards to Alia, Nino, and Chloe. And this one was wrong. This one I said they would end up keeping their Miraculous. In, or well, technically that's what I said realistically would happen. However, what I wanted to happen was them not to keep it, which ended up happening, which is nice. But regardless, the prediction I made was that they would keep the Miraculous. And the reason for this was, I'll talk about this later, but um, when I talk about the Arquamis, but I didn't really anticipate other people getting Miraculous, so I thought it would be solely these three. And I thought that, I guess, that they would get, eventually they would just get to keep them because they used them so much. And obviously that didn't happen, thankfully. That was one prediction I made was wrong, so... Or that was wrong, so... Let's... Where am I at? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of seven so far. That's not too bad, not too bad. But the only ones being wrong are... Lady Bunga Chat Noir and then Alia, Nino, and Chloe. But pretty much the rest of them here on out are... Well, besides this next one, I'm going to be wrong. The next prediction I made was in regards to people who were not akumatized... And this was specifically Marinette, Adrian, Mrs. Mendeleev, Marinette's parents, and mainly those, actually. Marinette's parents because we haven't seen either of them get akumatized. Well, the second episode of season three, actually, her father got akumatized. But besides that, we didn't see either of them get akumatized. And Mrs. Mendeleev, she's kind of in a special position as she was the initial teacher for the class. And also that she was one of the prime suspects of... Uh, being Hawk Moth back in season one, so it was weird. It was odd that she hadn't got akumatized, and obviously she did end up getting akumatized as she became Kwame Buster in the later half, latter half of the season. So she got akumatized, and then Marinette and Adrian actually both of them ended up getting akumatized. Adrian getting akumatized in Shop Block, and Marinette getting akumatized. I don't even remember what episode it was, but she did actually end up getting akumatized. And just as an insert. Honestly, it is surprising that, or it is still, it is saying something that Chloe was the only one who was able to resist an Akuma. Not even Marinette or Adrian, both of whom are literally Lei Bung Chat Noir, Paris' superheroes, who Hawk Moth is fine, who you think would be able to resist one, but no, neither of them could. That's, it, it, honestly, props to Chloe. I mean, I really hope they do something with her character. I really hope she becomes more prevalent with Lila. But that was sort of just, like, my own air injection. But, and I guess I did predict right that 
of all the people who would become akumatized. So that's actually six out of eight predictions right now. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I initially would. But I mean, granted, these predictions are sort of like surface level predictions. The only ones that really were right in, or the ones that really surprised me in being right was that there would be a confrontation between uh, Hawk Moth and Master Fu. And that Master Fu would phase out. That was probably the one prediction that no one made. Like, but me, maybe. Or lots of other people probably made it. But that was the one that's had the least likely chance of happening. But, yeah, so. So far, 6 for 8. This actually, I'm done with the first page of the note card. I have, like, a few more left. But, yeah, let's take it in our break. <coughs> Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm not doing the, um... I was thinking about whether I should do the Season 4 predictions after this, but no, I'm not. I'm just gonna do a Season 3 prediction reflections and then just be done. I mean, I'm doing fairly well so far, but I know these last few were wrong. Yeah. The next point was in regards to other Kwamis, and this is the one where... This is where, like, the turning point. This is where my predictions start to become dead wrong. And my prediction was that they wouldn't introduce new Kwamis, or... In that Ladybug and Chant Noir wouldn't give out new Miraculous. And that was obviously dead wrong. In fact, the exact opposite happened. They ended up giving out more Miraculous. And uh, Alia, Nino, and Chloe got less time with their Miraculous. So what I predicted ended up being the exact opposite of what happened. So there's that. I also said that. I actually also said that, in fact, they would not switch Miraculous. And that. I'll, I'll talk about this next one in a bit. But in. What I mean is that they won't switch Miraculous, or is that Ladybug and Chat Noir would not use, like, each other's Miraculous, or any other Miraculous, which, again, dead wrong. This is, like, yeah, this isn't really that good. This is, like, the worst prediction I've made, because I'm predicting exactly what didn't happen, or the exact opposite of what would happen. So there's that. I also said that, weirdly enough, I said that, uh, I said that, obviously, at this point, Alia, Nino, and Chloe know each other's superhero identities in secret identities. And what I predict is that they would actually figure out Laybug and Chat Noir's identity as opposed to Laybug and Chat Noir figuring out themselves. And this would be because simply, obviously, Ladybug and Chat Noir must know them and it makes the most sense that they're in their class. So and somehow they would figure them out and that they would have to keep a secret all five of them of each other's identities. However theoretically that allow for better coordination since you know, they know each other, but obviously that the show really is trying to push the idea that Ladybug and Chad Noir cannot know each other's identity. So, obviously that did not happen. That was pretty much the exact opposite of what was happened. Of what happened. The one time they did figure out each other's identities, the world was literally destroyed. So, obviously that didn't happen, but... Alright. So right now, 6 for 9. Nice. Anyway, the next one's in regards to a Melee. And this is actually interesting. I never even remembered making a prediction about Gabriel's wife. But my prediction was that she wouldn't be revived, which is obviously correct. I also predicted that Gabriel would visit her sanctuary more, which he did. We got a little, I think it's because we got a little glimpse of that in Season 2 that I remember. And actually, no, we got a glimpse in one of the early episodes, and then we saw him there basically give up later in the season. But obviously in season three, he had a lot more interaction in the sanctuary. So there's that. Um, yeah, there's just... That was kind of a no-brain prediction. Also, this is one thing I said that didn't come true, and it's that Natalie would visit the sanctuary. I mean, granted, she did, in that she helped Gabriel when they were down there. However, more so, I predicted that she would have an interaction with Emele. And obviously that did not happen. I think I predicted more so be like, her talking about, like, you know, why is Gabriel doing this? Why is he, like, rejecting his son? Why is he, like, not noticing Natalie's feelings for him? But obviously she wouldn't care because she sees it as her purpose to help him bring their family back together or something like that. Obviously that did not happen. And then, yeah, another no. I mean, it was that Natalie's feelings for Gabriel. Obviously we know this now, or at least it's very inferable, but... Yeah, that's just that was just going off of the uh Natalie visiting the sanctuary thing. Yeah. And actually the uh on <coughs> The last prediction I made was actually 
or the last predictions I made were in regards to like the end of the show itself. So not even necessarily season three, but just the end of the show. And I actually have a f quite a few notes on this. But well, actually, first off, the ending I predicted, I predicted it would end that there would be another season after season three, and it would end at either season four or five. I think that's quite realistic still. I don't see it. I don't really see it going much longer than four and five. Because at this point, and I'll talk about this in what they sh this they should have done video, and I talked somewhat about this in the season three. Or it's actually I initially planned on calling it season three step in the wrong direction or season three mistakes, but in the season three of Corin's timeline video I talked about slightly. They expanded the scope of the show way too far. So now there's so much they need to. So much resolution they would need to do for a season finale. So I could see it going beyond four and five if they manage to continue pumping out episodes. But if not, then season four and five is still, I think, a realistic end. And also, obviously, another one they predicted was that Gabriel can't win. I think that's obvious, especially now that we know he's no longer the Hawk Moth of the future. So that's a definite confirmation he doesn't win and that he can't really win. Yeah. And then also, this this one's a bit more of a uh, actual prediction as opposed to an observation. Is that Ladybug and Chat Noir would help Gabriel. And this would obviously be after they seize his miraculous. Because that's the only way they would be able to prevent them. Or prevent him from continuing to akumatize people. And I think that's a, kind of a no-brainer. I mean, they wouldn't just ditch Gabriel. I mean, especially after they learn of his past. And that what exactly he's trying to do with the miraculous. And I talked a lot about how a main theme during season two was doing the right thing, especially in the latter half. Season three didn't really have a theme, so to, so to say. But season two, that was the theme in the latter half. And that they wouldn't back down on that. I think that labeling Sh especially Chat Noir, would help Gabriel. Like, after they unmasked him. Now, that was solely in regards to the ending of the show in regards to like in regards to their specific quarrel with hawk moth and that the specific end to the plot but the end to the show itself like the conclusion of the show basically regarding everything else i also made some predictions for my uh in regards to like the conclusion i predicted that i hate saying this but game nat would become a thing gabriel and natalie i mean assuming labeling jean noir stops gabriel obviously he can't sacrifice Natalie to bring back his wife, which was a prediction I made. Or I talked about this in actually the Marinette Akumatai's videos, in that that was what he intended to do with her. And she was, you know, she was aware, fully aware of that and willing to go comply. But yeah, obviously, if Gabriel fails, then I think Gabe Nat would become a thing. I also talked about Adrianette, obviously, would become a thing. But. Given the season three finale, we don't know this anymore. However, I think I still do think Adrianette's Endgame. I mean that it obviously has to be given the history they've had together or whatnot. But well, basically, it's been foreshadowed from the very beginning. It would, I think, it would be probably the worst move the studio could make if they didn't make Adrianette Endgame. But yeah. Oh, I also talked about how. If Ladybug and Chat Noir beat Hawk Moth, then they would basically give all their miraculous to Master Fu. Obviously, this is wrong because Master Fu is no longer the Guardian and he doesn't have his memories. So, this is wrong, but basically, I think what I meant to say more so, or what I implied more so, is that they would rescind their miraculous. Like, they would not use it. Obviously, Gabriel nor Natalie, they wouldn't have access to either the Butterfly or Peacock miraculous, so they wouldn't be going around using them. Ladybug and Chat Noir and they could rescind them, but they would most likely keep them in case something were to happen. But I mean, yeah, that's just, that was um, in the, actually the last two predictions I have. They were also, well, connecting to the conclusion of the show. They were also wrong because they're both about Master Fu. But yeah, so they probably, this is probably wrong. They probably would not rescind their miraculous like that, especially if Master Fu is around. But again, I said that, one of the art predictions that I made was Master Fu leaving and taking the box with him, basically going back to where he trained to become a guardian of the Miraculous. I don't know why I didn't take into account when making the Season 3 predictions video that it was destroyed at the time, but 
obviously now that it's back well that's no longer possible because he doesn't have his memories but yeah that's just straight up a wrong prediction but i mean yeah hold on <coughs> damn gotta get good sleep tonight yeah and then the very last prediction which is this is in regards to the conclusion is that master who stays to help labor and chat noir kind of coach them into becoming like adult miraculous users kind of like gabriel obviously this can't happen because he's no longer the guardian and he doesn't have his memories or the miracle box so yeah these sort of last few or the ones that were beyond Gabe Nath and Adrianette, they were all sort of wrong because they involved Master Fu retaining his memories and what he does with the miraculous. So, yeah, just I'm gonna relook over this. See how many I got right. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Uh, Jesus, seven. Uh, and yes, because the last two were prediction. Were predictions for basically the end of the show, but seven out of seven out of ten actually. That's not too bad. And that's a C. The ones I got wrong were I got wrong pretty hard. They were the ones I said that Leibling and Chat Noir would unlock unlock new forms and base powers. They did neither. I also said that Ali and Nino and Chloe would keep their miraculous. Obviously, did not happen. And I said that. Ooh, this is the big one that was wrong. That they wouldn't introduce new Kwamis. Ladybug or Chat Noir would not give out new Miraculous. And they would not switch their Miraculous. And that they, Alia, Nino, and Chloe would figure out the identities of Ladybug and Chat Noir. And they would all form a group keeping their identity secret. That was wrong as fuck. I mean, the seven I got right. The only really, the only one that had, like, that I would say that I predicted that probably wasn't or i guess the one that the only one that i predicted that would happen that was unlikely to happen i would say or was that not or that wasn't really a surface level prediction was something that i would have had to like say where i could have easily been wrong was that master Fu would phase out of the show that was something that fairly easy couldn't could have not done but i'm honestly surprised it ended up happening and i'm surprised i ended up predicting that and that more specifically you'd pass on the mantle to marinette but i guess that's obvious if he does phase out that's really the only logical option also i guess that gabriel and hawkmoth would interact with master Fu, but yeah the rest of them were sort of obvious predictions but the three i got wrong i got really wrong so yeah seven out of three i guess all right but it's more so like balanced and even given the ones i got right and wrong And I mean, I guess that's really it. Um, yeah, I didn't intend to do the season four predictions after this part, more specifically because of the my decision to split in the two parts, one for the current timeline, one for the future timeline. I will end up doing that during winter break, but obviously for now, one, I'm losing my voice. Two, I got work to do, so I'm, unfortunately this is going to be the last recording for uh, Thanksgiving or like fall break. But I'm, I'm just glad I got three videos out, especially on Miraculous A Bug, because I literally just finished watching season three, and even though I think it's a step in the wrong direction overall, it was fairly good. Can't lie. But I mean, that's just what the show is doing. It keeps you hooked. So, yeah. I'm just, I really am just glad I got these videos out, and that I'll probably spend the, most of winter break on Miraculous A Bug. So, we'll see. But, yes, yep, that's it for today. Tomorrow it is, then.